Hello, this is Jose Juan from GearReport.com. Today we have here with us the high score dual damper shooting and sight and rest. The MSRP is $250, the street price is $200 to $220. Well, it's designed for precision shooting and sighting. It has a capability for recoil absorption. And we acquired from Highscore. This is one of three products that they have sent for us to review. Several of the features that we have with this shooting rest is repeatability. It dampens recoil. It uses two nitrogen compression dampers. It's, it's ambidextrous. You can do your elevation and your windage on either side of the, of the bench. Uh, it also includes a hydraulic trigger release, which is one of the features that we really like. Uh, the build quality is good, uh, but we believe that it's not overbuilt. Uh, there are some areas that within the shipping got bent a little bit, not anything that the manufacturer did wrong, it was just part of the shipping. This is how you would set the rifle on it. Of course, you see that it has a couple of straps. So you set your rifle on the front post V notch. You would secure it with the back strap and you have adjustments to secure it against the buttstock. You put your rear strap on it and secure it to the rest itself. The same thing with the front one. When the rifle shoots, the rifle is allowed to move backwards and then reset to the shooting position. This allows for really good repeatability, especially with the uh, remote trigger release. You're gonna be able to test different ammunition on each one of your rifles and get the most accurate ammo load for that platform that you're shooting. It's gonna help you a lot when you're sighting. We really didn't have any issues putting this uh, shooting rest together. Uh, everything came out really, really good. The paint and finish and welds uh, look very proper and we don't find any weak points in the manufacturing process. Um, there's a lot of people that uh, champion the idea of just sighting in in a couple of shots. Uh, well, with this platform, once you secure a rifle properly, you're gonna be able to use your uh, remote trigger release Set the, the, set the first shot off and uh, once you're on paper, you're going to just go ahead and be able to just move your crosshairs from the aiming point to the point of impact in the first shot, just as long as you're on paper. Once you move the, those crosshairs over onto the, where the, the bullet uh, landed, you are pretty much set. You're gonna be able to just take a couple more shots and that's gonna just make sure that you have zeroed in your rifle properly. Well, we really can't wait for us to take this out to the range and try it out. Um, but thinking about going to the range, uh, the one thing that we noticed is on shooting benches when it, the, the air, that are made out of wood, you would anchor the front legs off of the shooting rest over on the front of the bench and then there's holes at each one of the locations that you would bolt on onto the table to secure it properly. For any, if for any reason your uh, shooting club or the location where you're gonna go shoot uses metal or concrete benches, you are going to have to build a, a wooden platform for which you're going to attach the shooting rest before you clamp it on with C-clamps on onto the concrete or the metal bench. We can't wait to take this out to the shooting club, be able to try it out, see how it helps us zero in all of our rifles. Thank you. Please subscribe to the GearReport.com YouTube page so you don't miss any of our great video reviews. Like us on Facebook and check out our website at gear-report.com where you'll find full written reviews as well as outdoor gear deals and coupons.